How's it going out there? Welcome from H2 Tech Videos. Today I want to show you how to get Facebook um, on the Kindle Touch. First I'm going to show you what it looks like, then I'm going to show you how to sync up your Facebook account so you can stay up to date with all your friends and family and all that good stuff on your Kindle Touch. So let me show you what it looks like first. Uh, it is running the mobile browser, so um, you can actually update your status. It, there is a photo section, but you can't post photos, uh, but you could do a check-in. So, um, right now on the front here, I have my news feed, and we just uh, swipe up to uh, see more people and more things. Just keep swiping. So this is pretty cool. We can look at some posts. Um, let's see if we can like something. Let me find something that I actually like first. Um... Let's see, let's keep going. Let's see. All right, so. Um, there we go, there's something cool. So the little plus is in the corner right here. Let's see if we tap on there. Yeah, so we can actually like, and you can actually comment right on the touch. So that's really cool. Um, we can also, um, Hit the plus, hit comment, and then um, let's see what happens. This is all new to me because actually I tried to get to Facebook a couple days ago and it didn't work. And so I assume it just didn't work, but I'm feeling pretty confident now that um, Facebook does work on the touch. And this is pretty cool. Let's give it a second. Let's see what it looks like. If we can comment, maybe you can't comment. Maybe that's why it's doing this, but... Hey, never hurts to give it a shot. Okay, so I'm thinking maybe you can't make comments. That's okay. We're going to go ahead and hit the back arrow. Take us back to um, there, which is not the right place. So uh, on your Kindle, you'd want to tap at the top here. You're going to type in m.face book.com which is and it's going to be using the mobile browser that's why you put uh, m.facebook.com instead of just facebook.com because that's how it's supposed to work and there was a little error so m.facebook.com let's try it again if it keeps giving you this error Let's see here. I think it's going to jump past right now. There we go. All right, so it took us back to Facebook. Um, we can look at notifications. So I have two notifications at the top right here. And this is cool. So we can look at different things. We can Let's see if we can click on something. You know, it's limited. This is an experimental feature of the Kindle Touch. So everything won't work, but it's cool that we can at least do a couple of things. So this is a friend of mine that just got a Facebook. And so now I can actually look at his profile. Scroll down. Uh, let's see. I can look at, let's see what info looks like. I can see his info. I can click on photos. Let's see if I can see pictures. Yep, so there's a couple photos in there. And then uh, to the right, there's a little menu button. If we tap on that, I can actually look at my news feed, messages, events, all that. I'm going to go ahead and click on my profile and see what mine looks like. This is pretty cool. You know, it's in black and white. I mean, that's not too fun, but it's cool that you can still get it on here. And especially if you have the 3G version, then you're always connected. This is my Facebook right here. And um, what's cool is this is one of my quotes that I just posted from um, from uh, the touch. And here's a picture of me. Uh, my blood I actually gave blood yesterday and posted the picture on Facebook. So that was kind of cool. So let's see. We'll go back to uh, menu again. Got to go all the way up to the top. I actually post a status update uh, from here so you can see that that works. That's cool. Let's see. I'm going to tap in the area where the, there we go, keyboard comes up. Um, using Facebook on 
the Kindle Touch. And I spelled touch wrong. Don't worry, y'all. I knew how to spell it. It was the keyboard. Okay. Pretty cool. And I'm going to hit enter. And that usually always finishes whatever your quote is. And then upper right corner, it says share. Click on share. And then there it is. And now my post is right there, which is using a uh, Facebook on the Kindle Touch is pretty cool. So this is it in a nutshell. This is Facebook on the Kindle Touch. Now let me show you how to get this to work because it was very tricky when I tried to do it and I kept getting a lot of errors. So what you have to do is you have to link your Kindle to Facebook. And you actually are not going to do it through the web browser because when I tried to do it that way I kept getting errors. So what you want to do is go back to the home screen and find just any book open it up okay and then um, find a word and just hold down on it and then this menu will come up click on where it says share okay and then just go ahead and um, hit share again um, it actually um, what will happen for you it won't happen for me because I actually already linked up my account but when you hit share, it'll actually take you to a separate page that'll say link account and it'll show Twitter and it'll show Facebook. And on that page, you'll have to put in your Facebook information or your Twitter account information and then it'll let you link them to those different things. So uh, if you look at the other video I posted, which is um, how to share on the Kindle Touch, um, in that video, it shows you exactly what it looks like. And in that video, I actually linked the account, and, and by accident, I didn't even know it was going to log me into Facebook. So watch that if you get a little confused on this part. But hey, you can do Facebook on the Kindle Touch, and we just saw it right here on H2 Tech Video. So hope this was helpful. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought of the video, and have a good one.